I'm Jack from Allen Heath and we're here at the British Music Embassy at South by Southwest in Austin. This year we're really happy to support the British Music Embassy not only on the main stage behind me with two S5000s at front of house, we have an S5000 at monitors and a production console, but also on the alt stage at the top of the hill for the first time this year, the British Music Embassy running two stages on the site. So here at front of house, we've got a lot more space than we've had in previous years. That's allowed us to spread out a little bit and have a few extra consoles. We've got two S5000s here, each paired with a DM0. We're running these in an AB flip-flop configuration. This means that one console at any one time has access to the PA, and the engineer for the following band can be setting up their show on the desk that's not currently in use. These two each have an independent DM0 down here in this rack, and we're just switching over which DM0 is connected to the Giga Ace link that's, that is connected to a DM64 on stage with all of the analog I.O. That DM64 is being controlled from this CTI over here. We're using this as a production desk. So this is doing all the walking music. It's also doing things like compares and RF mics in between artists, but it also means that we can do a three-way split. We've got one split coming to front of house, the which essentially uh, swapping between these two DM zeros. We have another split that's going to our monitor S5000 that we'll look at in a few minutes. And finally, we have a third split that's going to engineers from the BBC who are doing capture for both this stage and the alt stage at the top of the hill. They're running on a converged Dante network. And we're managing all of that from front of house. Now, for some of the artists later in the day, we've got lots of engineers moving around. Um, you know, there's lots of people here doing lots of different jobs. But during the day when it's a bit quieter, it might just be myself and maybe the festival engineer Jez, who are managing front of house. Um, so to help us a little bit, we have got the production desk, but we've also got this IP8. This IP8 has got some remote control of certain key channels, such as RF mics for compares. So if we need to really quickly get to a channel just to turn it on so someone can make an announcement, we don't have to go diving into the production desk. It also has controls for things like the walk-in music. So if you have an engineer who isn't necessarily aware of how we've got all of this configured, we can just pop the IP8 next to them and say, this fader, that's the walk-in music. When you want to go, you pull that down and the PA is all yours. So we're here now at Monitor World. Uh, we've got an S5000 connected to a DM0. We've also got our DM64. The DM64 has all of the analog I.O. in this system. So it's all the outputs to things like the wedges and our RF equipment. The RF equipment here is supplied by Shure. We've got our Shure control protocol connected to the surface. This allows us to see key RF information right in the channel strip. We'll get a close-up of that. So here we can see our Shure integration. Right here in the channel strip, I can get key information about some Shure wireless microphones. In this case, we're using their in the system. If I tap on the RF information here, we can get a little bit more information than you get in the channel strip, including things like the gain settings, frequency, and the channel name. If I go ahead and talk into the microphone, you can see not only have we got the level in our channel strip, but we can also see the level as seen by the Shure system. So this really helps our monitor engineers. They're able to keep an eye on key information, such as the battery level and RF level, right in the channel strip without having to go to any external pieces of software. So what else have we got going on? We've got our DM0. We've got our DM64, we've got our S5000. We've also got connected to the DM64 a DX012 under the stage, feeding AES into the amplifiers. 